Okay, our first snowfall. I guess uh, Mara had a little trouble getting to work today. Uh, a lot of accidents. Every time it's the new first snow. You always got idiots out there not knowing like it's the first time they've ever been in it. It's amazing. But, uh, yeah, so out here I'm going to try and make, uh, just get some shots. I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, because I got a lot going on this weekend. And what, we got seven, eight days until Christmas. So I got a lot to do. So we'll see what we can do here. Stay tuned. Let's see if my buddy Brutus wants something to eat here this morning. There he is. Let's see if he wants to come get something to eat. Oh, he's turning around. I got my hand out. Come on, buddy. Come on, Brutus. I don't look interested. He'd be right here. Nah, he ain't. He ain't. But everybody else is. All right, well, I'm gonna feed the turtles. And I actually got some stuff to feed the baby fish in there. So we'll do a little video of that. All right, I got their food mix. I'm gonna put it in there. There's some ripped up shrimp for the, uh, for these guys. The uh, booze, there's three, one, two. Number three is hiding in the corner. And uh, the black arrow, he'll probably eat some of it too. And then blood worms and everything for everyone else. And there we go. Oh, I knew the black arrow would. Oh man, look at him. Oh, there we go. And the maboo, what's he do? He goes for the big piece. And that's for him. <laughs> Just out of the little stuff. <laughs> Come on guys, we do love for everybody. Come on little dude, come get something. You see it, you wanna eat, I know you do. He's having no problems. He looks to be like the biggest of the three. And he's the most curious of the three. Uh, two are kind of shy and just staying away right now. Okay. Now, I got a few extra pieces of shrimp, so I'm going to do something with those too. That's right, Beavis and Butthead, they're going to get some shrimp. Oh man, look at these guys. Let's see here if we can... Okay. More shrimp out here. Oh, come on, just like that. Let me spit it out. Oh, he didn't. Oh, another one. And one of them likes it, and one of them doesn't really care for it. Huh, that's weird. Or, they were just fed, too, last night. But, let them have them, even if one of them gets down, the rays will get it. In fact, there they go. Boom, gone. One more. Boom, gone. Took care of that. Oh, I forgot about you, buddy, but hey, you should have came out and got some. I only had a few pieces, so I figured what the heck. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Jerry's wanting to get in here and, like, get some of the dead leaves off, and look what's starting to happen. String algae. I hate that stuff. But, yeah, I think uh, Rich will probably let him get in here. He's not going to remove or decorate or anything. He's just going to clean it up and get rid of all that stuff and get, get it out of there. And a couple leaves that are dying, you know, we all learned. got to pick them off. So and there's like three or four on that one. So hopefully he can come down here and get that cleaned up as well. And we stop and say hi to Littlefoot and Chomper and if you want to come here, I'm going to feed him real quick. So I got to grab a couple handfuls and get it moist. Hold on. Alright, they're waiting. Here you guys go. There you go guys. And let's 
see we even got a little hay. There we go. There you go, bud. Guys. Yeah, dinner time. Lunch time. Yeah, supposedly there was a bunch of accidents this morning. Because, again, first snow and people don't seem to know what they're doing on the first snow, but no big deal. I waited a couple hours, came out, and no problem at all. So. I love watching these things. Alright, and then my plan, uh, I'm going to go in the back where that, uh, we have that baptismal tank that we were always going to use in the pond in the back so we could see through it and so forth. And we have so many plans for it, but it's still sitting back there with all containers. But there's some pea gravel in front of it that we've been using to weigh down plants and so forth and so on. And it pretty much fits the gravel I have in my 55 aquarium. So I'm going to grab some of that. The gravel that I had in the buckets that I just took out yesterday when we went and got that 90, Jerry and I emptied out the band, that stuff from the turtles, way too, uh, way too big. Way too big, and it's got a real fine black substrate. It'll take me forever to clean and, and separate it and everything else. The stuff in the back, not bad at all. All I got to do is rinse it off a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that so that I can add some more substrate into the 55 so I can get all those plants that uh, Agnaquatics Alicia gave me. Uh, I want that that's starting to look good. My 125 finally done with the ammonia spike. In fact, there was some algae growing on there and I thought maybe Dawn had cleaned it and I asked her and she's like, nope, it started disappearing on its own. That's how well the tank's starting to do again. So it's been a couple months. It's cycled now. Both 110s seem to be doing good. Everything's doing good. Now, I just gotta get done to get those plants off the tank so I can get in there and get all that black bearded algae out of there. And I mean, my filters are full of it. I'm gonna have to soak them. So I bought bottles of peroxide. You put the stuff in there for a couple of minutes, pull it out, clean it, rinse it, and it's good to go again. That's what I'm going to go. I've been looking at a lot of different things, and that seems to be the easiest. All right, you guys, uh, you stay tuned, and uh, we'll get this video finished for you. Beginning, this guy is back here, but that is the electric uh, catfish. And he's really cool. I really don't know how much voltage they put out or anything like that, because when I got the lettuce here, I almost dunked it in here to get it wet real quick. But I don't know if he puts out a charge and how much it would be. So I'm like, nah, I went over there to the other tank <laughs> and got it wet. But yeah, he's, he's getting there now. He's getting to be pretty good size. So, you know, I'll have to do a little research on him. But he's kind of interesting. Okay, now that this thing's interested. Well, let's see. Yeah, you can tell when he's interested, and he was interested. <laughs> awesome, buddy. And the cats, you can see them, they're healing up real nice. You can hardly tell they were all beat up to begin with, actually. You know, but yeah, all the fish are looking good again. And of course, I left my jacket again, so I gotta go get my jacket. And as you see, all the fish are dormant. I see a couple of the paddles right there, but I can't see them all. There's a couple over there, but it's going to be cold here for the next bit, so this thing should start freezing over. Well, it'll never freeze over because of that, but most of it will. Alright everybody, hope you enjoyed the video, you know, not a lot going on right now, it's a couple, we got what, four, five more days, I think, six days here before Christmas now, but, uh, you know, getting there, so, uh, got maybe, we do have a trip to go, uh, Lionel, uh, Lions New York, uh, a couple 75s, 55, no, 40s, and, uh, some wood, and, bunch of different fish uh, I started writing them down and I forgot but yeah I got a bucket like I said of uh, the pea gravel from the back 
I'm just going to get all this clean and clean my own substrate here and everything. I'll pull some of the pieces of wood out temporarily and then add and get these plants planted. And just since I put them in, my water's cleared up. And I haven't even cleaned the front of this tank yet in a while uh, because I had all the fleckles going. And that's one of them. He's growing up pretty good. He's, he's looking nice. But, uh, all right. So you guys stay tuned. We'll get some more videos out. And in the meantime, hit that like, subscribe, share, and we'll go deeper with a reaper.